In this video, I want to share experience of my non-surgical jawline lift at the professional office and it's kind of like a journey and I did this procedure about a year ago. Please guys, stay with me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for clicking on this video. My name is Aksana and today I want to share with you my experience of doing PDO threads at the professional office. And as I said, before I start doing my DIYs, I actually had the experience with PDO threads at the professional office. And it's about a year ago in March 2019 when I did my first PDO threads and they are done by a medical professional. And a year ago, I did kind of like a short videotaping of every day of the progress and my journey through that progress. But I never obviously put it on the YouTube and today that's what I want to share with you. So it's going to be pretty much every day of me uh, documenting what I see um, on my face, do I see some improvement, do I have any concerns, etc. And at the end you're going to see me roughly about I think a week or two weeks after all those procedures. It's 48 hours since my non-surgical um, lower face and neck lift with uh, treads. Um, I just want to report guys to you and see if there is like and show to you what kind of changes I ha currently have on my face. Yesterday when it was 24 hours I did filming on my iPhone. So, uh, and today I'm trying to film on my camera to see maybe the, the lighting and the quality will be a little bit different and show you a little bit different, you know, the, the things that are happening on my face. Obviously, I'm quite close to the camera right now, but I will come even closer to show for you. Uh, finally, um, sorry, funny enough, uh, today is actually I feel much more swollen compared to yesterday, but I can see if I come closer, you can see there is um, much more, obviously there is even some dryness on my skin and I can see the, the bruising start um, be more visible around the, the mouth. You can see over there it's kind of redness and the yellow all around where the threads went. And um, if you see there is a gathering of the skin, I'm really, like, really concerned about this gathering, but I spoke with my doctor and she said that it's normal because obviously we are not cutting any skin so just to get that lift effect you need some what the skin gather and she said it's gonna get much better in a few weeks time and today i even removed those um, uh, medical tapes that she put um like you know on the entry points of the treads and i don't know if it shows i hope so so you can see where the treads went and on this side as well and that's how the neck looks that's where the treads also come in in and out it's also quite swollen so we shall see it's quite difficult for me to to move you know my muscles over here it's almost impossible to smile so but i'm obviously hoping that and you can see also kind of gathering on this side i'm obviously hoping that it's gonna get much better so um i will see if i gonna do so tomorrow or maybe i should like you know get back in a couple of days more like maybe five days uh post procedures that you're gonna see a better result so i'm gonna continue icing today hopefully the swelling will go down and you will see the result okay guys thank you today is the day four uh, right after my non-surgical um lower face and neck lift i did the pdo treads uh, on my lower face and on my neck i just want to show you progress guys i'm obviously still bruised there is this huge um almost like a bulb uh, happening on the right side of my face and the gathering if i'm gonna bring closer you can see it's almost like pulling on my skin you see and the huge bulb right there i'm hoping that it's gonna go away and on this side once again it's gathering my neck uh, you can see the poking of the treads right there right in the middle and obviously huge bruising and swelling i'm really hoping that the result will be somewhat positive because right now it doesn't really look very optimistic it's almost impossible for me to smile 
and I mean the, the level of pain and I don't see the much of the result. What I see is just a horrible kind of bruising and gathering of the skin but not much result so far. I'm hoping that it will change and I will update you tomorrow. Uh, today is the day number four after my non-surgical <clears throat> thread lift for my lower face and my neck and I'm just all over the place guys I'm trying to find each day different spot maybe with a better um, view but seems to me I'm falling every single time I'm not sure what kind of quality is recording right now because I'm fairly close to the camera and it's hard to see but I'm hoping that it's a good um, like you know focusing happening and you can see I have major gathering of the skin in this area I will try to be quiet and you can see then I have bulb right there on this side once again I have gathering and obviously lots of bruising on my neck there is a poking of the tread on one side and obviously poking on another side lots of bruising and uh, as I said, the, the damage is quite visible, <laughs> not much of the result. I'm really hoping that um, it's going to somewhat going to get better and I'm going to get somewhat positive result out of this. And we shall see. So as I said, this is the day four. Let me just once again try to focus. This is the day four um, after my non-surgical facelift. Trying my best to... To find the best spot to film this anyway guys i will see you tomorrow thank you bye bye hello today is the day five after my pdo tread lift and um, i just want to show you condition of my skin today um i want to obviously come quite close to the camera you can still see that i have a bruising but what bothers me the most is just kind of like obviously gathering of the skin poking of the treads uh, of the skin and the worst part is my right side. You can see this bulb like really huge and you can see visible pulling on the skin right there. I really hope that it's focusing right there. Let me just try to adjust focus right there. This is the condition of my neck. Once again, Lots of bruising, still continues, and I still have lots and lots of swelling. It's still quite swollen. I'm hoping to see somewhat positive result out of all of this, but to be honest, it doesn't look really very optimistic. Like, see, once again, that's what's bothering me the most. You see this pulling? And this huge bulb and I can feel the tread when I'm just kind of pressing it almost springs back hello guys this is exactly two weeks actually no that's incorrect it's about 16 days since I did my uh, PDO um, non-surgical tread lift and that's how it looks like uh, today there is very very slight bruising right there if you can see just kind of yellowish um, and a little bit of gathering of the skin still shows. There is a little bit of popping threads right there on the neck. I hope you can see that. But overall, it's almost healed. And um, I read also over the internet that they said that the final result should be maybe around three or four weeks. Not even final, then somewhat the first effect some first result of this procedure should be somewhere in three weeks four weeks time and i'm seeing in myself i'm thinking it's gonna actually and what i personally think that on myself on my specific skin type the specific uh, face type most likely i'm gonna see in four weeks so i will get back to you in four weeks with the full result and hopefully with the full makeup all right you guys thank you I hope that you enjoy my uh, video diary or video journal of my procedures that have been done actually at professional office and I'm somewhat happy and that procedure opened 
for me the eyes on PDO threads and maybe that was the first step of my DIY journey on this YouTube. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you like the video, please don't forget to give me thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, join me on my DIY journey and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye!